Twitch streamer's good. None of the gens seem to have much progress on them. And Jane is gonna have to spend time on a box. The only question is can we get the right one? There is a gen being worked on though. But I'm pretty sure that that's... Our Twitch streamer friend. Good, 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 good. Jane. She's on the ground somewhere. Cause it was this hook. I 
Hi, Jane. Okay, guys, assuming we make it to this hook, which I don't see why we wouldn't. We just got ourselves a Road to Pig 4K on the channel. Give him the little crouch. Then we run off into the distance. This was an extremely fun match, guys. I honestly surprised. Like I said, they had some decent prestigious there. It looked like some of them were kind of swiffing the way they were coordinating, but we actually got the win. Great progress error, but I mean, all four Eeries. I think for the first time ever as killer, I've reached silver. That's going to go up. Yeah, oh man, this was a really, really fun match. What I'm going to start doing is, on 4k matches, you know, I give myself the giant player of the match, just because I feel like it's earned. But we're going to do both awards for both teams as well. So like, in this case, the giant player of the match was the Kate. I was, like I said, I was actually intimidated by her. I had to do some things. I had to get her out of the match. Our empty player... My goodness, they all honestly played pretty fire. But maybe this Jane, just for situational awareness, I guess. Uh, if I had to sum up this match, I would give this one probably an 8 out of 10. Maybe a 9, just because we were able to keep pressure off them, or on them the entire time. They didn't pop a gen. They kept making silly mistakes. We had that one corner setup of hooks where they were so close. And since they kept coming into the room, like, going after one another, I was able to slug pretty freely. Like, I didn't try to go after everyone and slug them. I mean, you all saw that. If they came in and they were swarming me, like, yeah, we went for it because, I mean, they were right there. At most, I tried to never have more than two slugged. I think we got to three at some point, but like I said, they kept making silly mistakes, coming at me. So we did what we had to do. But uh, other than that, the ending there was pretty good. I think we got a lot of value out of Save the Best for Last. Which, what are your guys' thoughts on this perk? I'm hearing a lot of people complain about it nowadays. But like, I feel like it's rather fair, especially on weak killers. Like, the pig is probably one of the weakest killers in the game, so like, giving them a faster M1 seems like a fair trade-off, considering their power is so niche. Comparing it to how it played up against some of these builds, I think that it did a huge role in Made for This, or against her Made for This. Uh, let's see, with the... Actually, the Jane was the only one that ran it. The Adam, I think, suffered from Deliverance Curse. I'm, I want to say he was the first one I hooked this match. So that's always unfortunate. But yeah, our add-ons, I don't think they played too much of a role. We didn't get anyone at the box. Well, we got the Jane near a box, so maybe that did play a part. Other than that, lots of value from Jolt, Surveillance. We didn't have to use Noed, which honestly I'm thankful for. It's kind of my, if all shit goes wrong, at least give me one kill in the match. But yeah. That is going to do it for today's episode of Road to Pig. I'm Empty Giant Gaming. Thank you all for watching. Peace and love, and I can't wait for our next episode.